Hi there, good morning. Well, how are you this morning? I hope that you're really well and thank you for listening in and joining in this morning. Well, I remember when our two children, Joshua and Carlin, were very little and um, we would be maybe going for a walk or even here at home and I remember they would stand on something high and as Dion, their dad, would walk past, they would jump and they would shout, catch me dad. They had absolutely no doubt in their little minds that their dad would catch them. They had faith in the fact that uh, uh, their dad would not let them fall. Dion would have to be very alert and very quick to grab hold of them to make sure that they didn't fall. Well, the Bible tells us that children are a gift from God. So whether you have your own children or there are children in your family or you work with children, we know that we that children are a wonderful, wonderful gift from our Heavenly Father. It says in Psalms 127 verse 3 in the Passion, children are God's love gift. They are heaven's generous reward. Wow. You know, I don't know about you, but if I receive a gift from someone, I'm not going to go the next day and say, well, here's your gift back. I want to keep that gift. I want to enjoy that gift. Well, in the kingdom of God, in God's kingdom, it works a little bit differently. You know, as we uh, give, we receive. As we surrender our children, even in this area, as we surrender them to God, we receive so, so much for them. Uh, when we trust God with them and we surrender them to Him, we receive His very, very best for our children. Um, Isaiah 54 verse 13 in the Amplified says, And all your children shall be disciples taught by the Lord and obedient to His will. And great shall be the peace and the undisturbed composure of your children. Wow. I love this verse and I know it speaks of spiritual children. But Dion and I, we pray this over our children every day. Uh, that God's word would train them and that they would be obedient to the will of God. And then we know that great peace and undisturbed composure will be theirs. I love that. Undisturbed composure. I want to say to you today, don't ever... Uh, underestimate the power of prayer. The Bible tells us that the fervent prayer of a righteous man and a righteous woman, it availeth much. Uh, God is busy working on your behalf. You know, you and I, we must not grow weary. Um, and the Bible tells us we must not grow weary. And at the right time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Even when you can't see the results that you're praying for, maybe, that you're believing for, maybe, for your children. Uh, even if you cannot see those results happening right now, maybe, that you're looking for. You need to keep on praying, keep on believing, keep on trusting God. And know that He is working behind the scenes on your behalf. Um, there's a beautiful scripture in Psalms 112 verse 2 and it says their children will be successful everywhere an entire generation of godly people that will be blessed wow isn't that what we want you and I this is what we want an entire generation of godly people men and women who choose God uh, God's way first and foremost that's first and foremost in their life this is when we're going to see the goodness of God in this world that we live in today so have a blessed day have an encouraged day remember to pray for your children today and then have a encouraged day and we'll chat again soon God bless bye-bye